Hello Seekers, welcome to Panis Astrology, your One Shop Astro channel. We know that on July 5th, there is a lunar eclipse and this eclipse will happen in the sign of Sagittarius. The eclipse of Moon, the Chandra Grahan, will occur when Moon will be in its full light. That means it is a full moon time. And what's unique about this lunar eclipse is that on 5th of July, we celebrate Guru Purnima. Guru Purnima is also celebrated when there is a full moon in the sign of Sagittarius. Now you see the position of planets formed by Rahu and Ketu because this eclipse is not formed by Rahu. This eclipse is formed by Ketu. And now you have both the luminaries, Sun and Moon in the axis of Rahu and Ketu. Previously also in the solar eclipse on that happened on 21st of June, Sun and Moon were together. But this time they are opposite and each one of them is taking the charge of Rahu and Ketu respectively. How it is going to affect you in, the, in this upcoming future? What is the effect of this eclipse on you? Let's discuss in detail. But before that, do not forget to hit like, subscribe and share and hit the bell icon so that you never miss another update. And if you have any suggestions, please comment in the comment section below. For any consultations, you can drop an email and the email ID and my website details is given in the description box. Eclipses are a pretty natural phenomenon. They are astronomical in sense and what say, they are just shadows casted by one heavenly body on another. It may be a very simple, regular, repetitive phenomena, but it is not simple in terms of the mathematical significance of astrology. At least our Indian sages who discovered the science of astrology felt that eclipses are nodal points and they are of high significance. Eclipses are the days where a lot of emotional, spiritual and physical tr triggering happens of our karma. And these kind of triggers lay out our life in the upcoming future. What is so important about the eclipse of 5th of July? It is going to be a massive lunar eclipse. That means it is going to impact our mind in a much more uh, stronger way than the previous eclipses. Uh, I know there have been already two eclipses, one in one lunar eclipse is already passed in June. Then we had a big solar eclipse, which was a massive, massive solar eclipse, creating so many changes in our life. And now we end up with another and final lunar eclipse in the Gemini Sagittarius axis. Because now in September, Rahu and Ketu will shift their position to Taurus and Scorpio respectively, and future eclipses will be formed in Taurus and Scorpio. But for the Gemini and Sagittarius, this is the final one. This eclipse will be in Sagittarius Zodiac along with Ketu. There is a retrograde Jupiter who has just entered. And moreover, if you see this eclipse will happen in a nakshatra of Purvashadha. So let us discuss more about Purvashadha. Purvashadha is a nakshatra of courage. This nakshatra needs warlike fighting spirit. This nakshatra is the nakshatra of victory. This nakshatra has the fluidity of water, the beauty, compassion and knowledge of Venus and the wisdom and the decorum of Jupiter. The three forces when combined gives a very unique characteristic to this particular nakshatra and this eclipse means moon will go in the nakshatra of Purvashada. Now let us take Sagittarius as the ascendant and let us find out which house moon rules. According to the house that is ruled by moon, this eclipse is going to bring the changes that we are looking for. Moon rules the eighth house. Eighth house means signs of occult, deep secret knowledge. Moon in eighth house, being in the eighth house lord means the emotions which were deeply hidden within us, the fear, the good and the bad, the evil and the divine, 
both that reside within us is now going to appear, is now going to come out, is now going to reveal itself. So now you will know yourself much better after the, say, for the next 15 days, you will have so much, so many experiences in your life that will give you a fairly, a, you can say, a peak view into who you are if you don't know who you are. Moreover, if you see the position of Moon, Moon is hemmed between Ketu and Jupiter and this is a very spiritual combination. This is a spiritual war. This is a spiritual fight. In my Jupiter retrograde video, I said it's a philosophical time. This eclipse initiates the philosophy of life. Ketu is Mokshkari. Ketu is going to give you detachment. So you will feel detached with, you can say, from yourself. You will feel detached from things you love. You will feel detached and disconnected from this world. You will feel that the knowledge that you know was never really enough. You will feel incomplete within yourself. This sense of incompleteness will impact more if you are a Sagittarius or Gemini Ascendant or Moon Sign or you are a Cancer Ascendant or Moon Sign because these three zodiacs are going to have maximum impact. When Ketu combines with Moon and gives you the Eclipse, you have to see what is the role of Sun here. Sun has to be in a very strong position and that what Sun is. Sun is in a very strong position along with a retrograde Mercury with Rahu in the sign of Gemini. So Sun and Mercury in Adra Nakshatra is ready to fight, is ready to wage a war against the negativity that is inside you and this is the right time that you initiate the holy, holy battle with the negativity within your mind. So I keep on saying, seek the light, seek the light. Now when the luminaries are with the dark, Sun is with Rahu and Ketu is with Moon. When the luminaries are with the dark, you have to ensure that Sun and Moon fight the night, they fight the dark and come out victorious. Purvashada is also the nakshatra of war. Purvashada is also the nakshatra of belief system. Purvashada nakshatra is the nakshatra for belief system. When Ketu, which is in already in Mula nakshatra, joins with Moon in Purvashada nakshatra and Jupiter, which, is, which has just entered the sign of Sagittarius but is in Uttarashada nakshatra, shows that this is the time when you will cut the belief system and you will change your roots. A lot of people under the influence of this eclipse is going to believe in something new. You will create a new belief system about yourself. You will create a new identity of your faith. And I'm not talking about the faith in God or religion. I'm talking about the faith in yourself. For example, if you have a faith or a belief that you can't sing, that belief will now cut and you will have a new faith. You can sing. So you, you have to ensure that the kind of faith that you take now should be constructive and not destructive. This is also a time which can create a sense of revenge. This is also a time which can create a sense of vengeance, anger, fight, an intense desire to protect your faith because Purvashara don't give up so easily. Ketu in Mul Nakshatra means to cut. So when Ketu in Mul Nakshatra cuts the faith and the cuts the belief system, it's going to pain. But remember, this is why Jupiter is right now heading towards this eclipse. What a situation this is. There is an eclipse formed eighth from the sign, formed by Moon and Ketu. Moon rules the 8th from the sign of Sagittarius and the ruler of Sagittarius is running towards this eclipse. As if Jupiter is ready to bring the change, this is not Ketu and Moon, the agent here is Jupiter himself. So this is a new seed, a new plantation, a new thought, a new idea and you have to be ready to accept that change. The question is whether this cutting of the root, whether this breaking of the faith, whether this facing the confrontation of life is going to create problems 
because you are going to resist this or in certain cases when you have to accept will you accept it because if you don't Ketu is not going to stop cutting the root the root will be cut you have to accept it if not today then sometime tomorrow but the problem here is that human resist we resist any kind of change and this is the time of change you should not provide any kind of resistance you should provide support you should provide the will to change the will to become a better human being you should provide the will to act on areas of life that has to be cut and thrown out this is the right time to filter out your life that's what wisdom you will get that is what knowledge that you're going to get you are going to know what you need to keep with yourself and this is the exact time that you will know what you are going to cut out the basis has to change and it will be all of a sudden because if you say the eclipse is being formed with the eighth lord from sagittarius so the house in which eclipse is being formed the ruler of eighth house is under eclipse that means a lot of people will get a lot of intuitive feelings there will be a gut feeling coming up you need to listen to that gut feeling you need to listen to that soul calling and you need to listen when your soul rejects or ask a question about something and you have to be very very open and you have to be you have to open up your arms to embrace the word of god you have to open up your arms to embrace the love of god the wisdom will be showered upon by jupiter but as you know the retrograde planets are going to work in a slightly different way than they usually work that means the kind of working principle you are familiar for the planets is not going to apply here so you have to go day by day you have to take step by step you have to think of the short term plan and let the planets work for their long term goal in your case if you're thinking about the short term plan this is the best time and this is not the right time actually to change invest because the change and investment of emotion efforts time money will automatically come in front of you obviously according to your horoscope it is going to show the results but most of it is going to come automatically so in this case when you are falling into a great change a time of a great filter or a time of a samudra manthan you can say that this is the time when hanuman lord hanuman brought sanjeevni to lakshman this is the time when it will prove that eclipses can also work good if you are properly receptive to the energies if you are properly adhering to the rules of dharma if you are adhering to the task of righteousness you will see that the eclipse is going and going to give you best possible results now guys let us start a small meditation just follow me what you have to do you have to i'll just try to uh, settle myself here what you are going to do is you will sit with your spine straight close your eyes and repeat after me take deep breath relax your shoulders drop it jupiter is here to take your load see the blessings of the god see the light of the moon and sun falling on you slightly bow down your head with respect keep your spine straight keep taking the deep breathing
அசுதோ மா சத்மய தமசோ மா ஜோதிர்கமய மிருத்தியோர்மாமிருதமய ஓம் சாந்தி 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 ஓ சுமையாச்சித்துவாக்வே ஓப்ரெட்ஸ் this is a very small piece of meditation that you can do every day i just thought of telling you a small meditation technique that can help you address the emotional anomalies that this eclipse will bring this eclipse is definitely going to impact moon and this is definitely going to impact your mental health not everybody is going to impact get impacted in the same way few won't even feel anything it will be a just a regular day for them but eventually in eclipse is an eclipse and it is a global phenomena it is going to impact each one of our life that means even if you believe you don't believe if you think it gets it it affects you if you have a thought that it will not affect you it does not matter it's a mathematical phenomena and it's a global phenomena it's an astronomical and astrological phenomena and it will impact you maybe you're not receptive to the energies but that does not mean that the energies don't connect with you your conscious mind works only 5 to 10% and rest is subconscious you can't even control your heartbeat you can't control 99.9% of your activity of your own human body so you can't say that you are in total control so if you're not in total control there must be some force that is already taking care of most of the things and this is the time when you can be receptive to it cut what is necessary from your life cut it away throw the negativity away throw the tamas throw the negativity that stops you from becoming a human being namaste